But we begin tonight in Venezuela, where this year the country has become the target of several destabilization plans. The plots emerged following the death of the Bolivarian Revolution's leader Hugo Chavez in March 2013. Our correspondent Rachel Boothroyd has a rundown of these plots. The streets of Caracas are now the image of calm. It's hard to believe that less than a year ago they were part of the nationwide explosion of the so-called barricades. The violent opposition roadblocks cost the lives of 44 people after opposition politicians Leopoldo Lopez and Maria Corina Machado called on supporters to take to the streets. They were reported as spontaneous by the international media, but for Desiree Cabrera, whose daughter was trapped inside a nursery set alight by the barricaders, it's not a story she recognizes. It was horrible. It wasn't just my daughter. There were lots of babies inside. In the middle of all that panic, watching them attack and set the center on fire, we had to get all of those children out, urgently. The barricades were not the end of the story. They were followed by the release of a string of videos showing right-wing terror plotter Lorenz Salen confessing to having participated in planning the barricades in advance from Colombia. He and several others were receiving military training and funding there. The case was being investigated by youth leader and United Socialist Party legislator Robert Serra, assassinated shortly after the videos were released. For Farid Freiha, author of the book Plan Barricade, 2014 has been marked by attempts to overthrow the government in a soft coup. Strategies which made way for sustained low-intensity action through civilian clashes, the introduction of paid mercenaries and groups into the country who began to generate violence in order to justify military intervention. Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro has described 2014 as the most difficult year yet for the Bolivarian Revolution. Yet the government appears to have weathered the storm. It hopes that 2015 will be a year of greater stability for the Bolivarian Republic. Rachel Boothrod for Telesur in Caracas, Venezuela.